In today's video, we're going to be talking about the alignments in the 3-3-3 defense. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Mr. Football here again today. I'm back with another Chalk Talk on the 3-3-3 defense. Uh, we talked about it last time uh, and kind of talked about how Iowa State incorporated um, you know, the three, three, three defense, a lot of threes in the defense. Um, either way, uh, we're going to talk about kind of just, uh, base alignments and it really varies between, you know, what rule of thought your uh, you know, what philosophy you kind of follow, fall into with, uh, this kind of defense. We talked about it last time. I encourage you guys, if you're not seeing the introduction to this, you know, you know, watch that video first. Um, you know, we just kind of talk about the, the introduction, but now we're just kind of getting into, you know, just base alignments uh, that we see. I want to start with, you know, linebackers and the defensive line. We'll start with the defensive line first. A lot of times um, when you watch a lot of the college teams, high school teams that have adapted this defense, they're running out of a lot of a different, they're kind of being multiple up front. They're not lining. They're not aligning the same um, all the time, and and it's really dependent on you know what run scheme are they seeing. Uh, you know the the one I find most common uh, in this is a um, would essentially be a a four i zero four i or what a lot of people call a tight front. Um, you know, tight front like the three 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 defense very popular today. Um, in this, like I said, we don't we don't utilize this defense. But like I said, I'm I'm talking about it from the standpoint if you wanted to run it, these are some you know things to consider. You know, based on alignment, um, a lot of teams what they're doing. You know, in that tight front, depending on you know a lot of it. You know, they teams bring pressure. You know, uh, teams will teams will stunt different ways. Um, you know based on you know how they how they kind of seem seem to fit you know they'll they'll draw up all kinds of stuff uh with that but to me i i see you know with the tight front essentially you know if 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 i was telling my guys how we would read this like you know this defensive end here he's essentially reading this guard's hip if let's say that the the guard reaches down he's he's inserting there Let's say we get inside zone to our nose, um, you know, and these guys working together here, you know, essentially what we're what we're getting here is, you know, we're they're trying we're trying to get the defense to essentially spill the ball, you know, teams are going to want to run right at you um, in this, and so if, if you can potentially spill the ball, you know, you've got you've got force players, you've got other spill players to come in and, and, and fit on the run, uh, like we talked about. So, like I said, that's some things you can kind of consider with this. Another front that we can get into um, with this is what, you know, a lot of people, I, I call this kind of a slide technique, uh, just, just kind of personally. Um, like we might slide to the strength um, of the offense. We'll run a five. Uh, essentially the zero and then a, a four I on the backside. Um, something like that kind of even, even slant our guys, uh, that, that direction, you know, like I said, it, you can get into a lot of different things. Um, you know, with that, another easy one, um, would be, you know, five zero five passing situation. Um, you can get into a lot of things, you know, with that, with the defensive line, you can, you know, get these guys upfield, duck them inside, um, you know, work, work different, um, you know, blitzes off of this as well. Um, another one that I've seen uh, with this, you know, teams kind of running this as well. Let's say we keep the strength that way, uh, shade that nose over to essentially a one, you know, to the strength there, and then still reducing down that defensive end to a four I kind of still sliding it um anyway there's there's just like a lot of different things you can do you know alignment wise with the defensive line five zero five 
We talked about five one four I. You know, just some different different considerations there to look at. All right, let's move on to the linebackers. Um, our Mike linebacker and what most Mike linebackers do in this defense, they're either stacked up, um, you know, on the center, or they will kind of reduce, not reduce, but they'll they'll shade to the strength. Um, you know, as far as our linebacking core, most from what I've seen, all tend to be traditional linebacker types, like a lot of, you know, 33 stack, 335 uh, defenses do. They tend to have three true linebackers. Obviously, you want your mic to be kind of a bigger, bigger of the two. Obviously, your Sam and Will probably need to be more coverage guys if you are running this defense. Um, if you're looking at that, but a lot of times, you know, base alignment. If this is a base alignment out of two by two, most of the most of them seem to be breaking the stack per se, and that's why we kind of talk about it from the odd stack perspective. Um, but they, they essentially either tend to be lined up on the edge of the offensive tackle or slightly, slightly there outside. Um, you know, just as, you know, if, if a team, and I think really the, the, the thought is, is you can get a guy quicker to the flat, you can get a guy quicker to those, you know, routes to the outside. You know, technically where the defense tends to, in my opinion, tend to be weak is your numbers inside as far as your run fits. So that's just that's just me. Um, we'll talk about corners. Uh, when we look at alignments from from the corners, and especially looking at kind of what um, Iowa State's done, you see um, outside leverage here with this guy down on the bottom. Um, you know, maybe playing like some kind of cloud cover two Tampa technique. Um, you know, even even considering. You know, they may even be playing man down there uh, as close as they are. Um, but they tend to, you know, pass those guys off. So I do think they run some uh, cover three, cover two variations at times uh, when they're doing this. So really the corners can can kind of vary in their alignment. And, and like I said, the corners alignment is going to all depend on what coverage you decide to run. We're not really talking about coverage in it per se yet. Um, we'll, we'll finish up today's video talking about the three high safeties. So different rules of thought here. Uh, we'll talk about, you know, the, the outside safeties as I, I might call them, you know, your strong safety, free safety. Uh, we use, everybody uses a little different terms, but, um, from what I've seen and just kind of looking at, you know, alignments, most of them tend to be, you know, obviously depending on situation, uh, you know, sometimes being as far as 10 yards off, um, you know, if you look here, just from, you know, looking at some of the, the clips I found um, of this, you know, being about 10 yards off the ball, that middle, that joker safety, uh, just from, you know, reading a lot on this, they're trying to use that guy as the extra hitter. So putting him kind of closer in the box for almost counting as a run fit guy somewhere heels at eight yards uh kind of being the free hitter type probably still being involved in in the coverage as kind of a a guy that can go in there and um you know fit into different places um like i said that's that's kind of the consideration for the joker the two outside guys you're you're what i call the free safety and the bandit or a rover you know however you call those guys, they're about, you know, they're about 10 by two as far as, you know, they're going to be either outside, inside leverage. It really depends on, you know, coverage here. Obviously, if, if Baylor's near the hash, you know, they're going to walk out and they are in trips. So that's going to kind of change the linebackers look. But like I said, there, there's some soft spots of this defense. You know, personally, I feel like you have, you're soft on the edges. Uh, but, you know, those guys got to be, if you're going to still defend the run, like you've got to, you know, be able to get there. So that's just kind of the, the things I see alignment-wise uh, with everybody. So I hope that helps, I, you know, just kind of looking at it from the alignment standpoint um, of this defense, just some kind of things that I saw with this. So uh, next time we'll we'll talk, uh, you know, very simply just on, you know, just some, some coverage thoughts on this and, and really just wrap up this little chalk talk series on the three 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 defense. I'm sure, you know, you can really, you know, I didn't really want to take a true deep dive into this. I wanted to play around 
with the pieces of the puzzle, see what you can do with it. Uh, just, you know, try to adapt it, but not, you know, go all in on it. Um, like I said, I think it has a special application if you see that air raid team, you know, week in and week out. I think it's something to consider, you know, if that's something that if you, if the pass, if the air raid something you got to stop, I mean, I think this is the route you go. Um, but just know like there are sacrifices that you make with this. It's not a perfect defense by any means. It is not just because it's popular right now in football in 10 years, it could be completely different. It's just how things cycle through. So, um, that's all I have for this video, guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to like this video if you liked it. Um, Always helps our videos. Um, like I said, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We have new videos coming out every Tuesday and Thursday for the foreseeable future. Try to release them on 6 p.m. Um, if you can be expecting those uh, as well. get Turn that notification bell on so you know when new videos are uploaded. We will see you guys next time. I'm Mr. Football, and I'm out of here. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.